Fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, I was expecting a camera on me. Sure. <laughs> no, it's the same setup I got. Yeah, I know. Same Hell thing. Yeah. Is this what you're after? That's what I need. Good shit. Yeah, mine's a little bit broken. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So as you just saw, we went and picked up this up pipe for the car. This is from Bobby's Series Gray STI. So if you don't know who that is, I'll have their channels linked down in the description box below. Um, we're going to get this thing thrown on Panzer. And then we can finally get this thing back together. So all we got to do is pull this old one off, uh, which is obviously a little busted up. Pull that out, get the new one on, get the turbo on it. And then I'm probably going to start routing the AOS through here. And uh, we'll get that situated. So. All right, up pipes back in. We got this support brace on. This thing is a pain right in the rear end. There's a bolt that goes down behind it and it took me forever to get that on there, but we're good to go now. So now we can go ahead and get the turbo slapped on this thing. And then I'm probably just gonna go to advance, get some hoses and we'll get the AOS ran. All right, we got the AOS. Uh, this is the IAG Competition Series AOS. Um, so essentially what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna hook this all up and we're gonna be deleting the coolant expansion tank uh, while installing this. That's kinda, we're gonna create a loop in the system and uh, essentially it'll just wipe out that whole expansion tank, clear up some space. And uh, yeah, also if you look over here, I do have, you know, disregard the up-pipe, but I have all this stuff that had to do with the secondary air pump. Um, and obviously it's not in the car, and that's because I went ahead and deleted that. Um, we have this Torque Solutions air pump delete kit, essentially just two block off plates that go into the back of the block where these guys hooked up and essentially are gonna delete the whole secondary air pump. Um, that not only clears up a bunch of room, but I also don't need it in the car. So um, the only thing I did have to do, the barometric pressure sensor sits on top of the solenoid. So I did have to cut this off with a hacksaw. Um, and I have it sitting over here. Essentially, we'll just plug that back into the car. The AOS is probably gonna mount up somewhere over in this corner here. We'll have to adjust that wiring harness, I think. Also, I gotta give credit where credit's due. Uh, I did see this from Josh Bader on his channel, Bader Built. So I'll have his channel linked down in the description box below. Um, go check him out. But yeah, I did learn all this from him, so credit to him. So to make this easiest to explain, first thing I'm going to do is remove these two hard lines. Um, this one just goes to the breathers on the valve covers. And then this one essentially just goes to uh, the water pump comes up right here. And then it runs into a coolant line right there. Uh, so I think it's just a few bolts. We'll pull these hard lines out and these hoses from the valve covers and then we can get the AOS in. All right, so I kind of jumped ahead a little bit, but I'm gonna try to explain this in the simplest way possible. Pretend we're gonna count these one, two, three. This is exactly how Josh Bader did it and I think it's the best way to pretty much explain this. So top port here just goes to your half inch breather on your valve cover. Second one comes around and it goes to the half inch breather on your passenger side valve cover down there. And then the third one essentially is a return down into your block. So um, as you can see, we kind of got a little setup here. This bottom one is your drain off the bottom of the AOS. So that's your oil drain comes around and kind of just tease down into the block right here. So these two are breathers. This one and the bottom, your drain, come together right here and they'll go down into the block. Super simple there. Now for coolant, um, so what we're gonna do with this, there's two coolant lines that go into the bottom of the AOS. So this one is going to, we're gonna barb into it, connect another hose, and it's gonna come over and hook right into this water pump uh, port right here 
and that's going to be your feed to your AOS. And then the second coolant line just comes around and goes into your feed to your turbo. And then obviously the return from the turbo to the head uh, stays the same. So essentially all we're doing is creating a loop. So it comes up from your water pump into AOS, out the AOS, into the turbo, out the turbo, into the back of the head. Super simple. So like I mentioned, we're just going to be using one of these half inch barbs, connect another hose onto it, and then we'll run this all the way to this water pump inlet. Essentially all we're doing, uh, we're going to delete that expansion tank and we're just creating a loop in the system. And uh, then we'll just end up bleeding from the radiator rather than the expansion tank. But yeah, that's it. And then this top is just a breather that runs to the back of the car. That's it. Also, you can see I have the AOS mounted right up here where the wiring harness used to be. And then they include a little relocation bracket for the wiring harness. So I'm just going to go ahead, finish running this, and then uh, we'll pick it up from there. It's pretty simple. And uh, I'll try to explain it again once we get it back together. starting to get dark but top port of the AOS runs right around the back of the car and down into the half inch breather on the valve cover second one goes to the breather on that valve cover third comes straight down right into this guy here which L's down and goes into the back of the block this hose coming out of the bottom is a T and it goes straight to the drain on the bottom of the AOS. And then as far as coolant goes, this is a hose that I bought from Advanced. Uh, this is coming from the water pump. I have it kind of ran tucked behind everything down underneath the, the turbo here. And then it's barbed right here and it goes into the coolant line into the back of the AOS. The next coolant line comes out of the AOS right here goes into the top of the turbo, and then turbo goes to the head. Now, for the 5 8 breathers, all I did, I ran a, a little 5 8 hose right here, about two inches, into a brass T, and then two 5 8 hoses into the back breathers on the valve cover on each side, so you can see it down there. And that takes up those holes. So now the only thing we have left for the AOS is the top breather and that essentially is just going to run down the back of the car. So I hope that kind of made it a little bit simpler. I know it's starting to get a little dark out here, but um, it's honestly really, really easy. I went to advanced and picked up some 5 8 hose and some half inch hose. That way I had enough to uh, do all this because IAG doesn't really provide you enough if you're going to be deleting the expansion tank. So um, just heads up on that. And then I also picked up some hose clamps, but yeah, um, I'm probably going to pick this video up tomorrow. Uh, hopefully we'll get like the intake manifold back on and uh, get one step closer to getting this thing back together. So uh, yeah, see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. So we're about to drop the intake manifold into the car. I got all the surfaces cleaned up and the new gaskets are put on. And if you look over here, we got the full intake manifold assembled. Uh, TGV delete, we got the injectors, fuel rails, uh, all the hard fuel lines, the turbo inlet, everything's good to go, we're ready to throw it on. Now if you do notice, I kind of capped off these little ports where the EVAP goes into, it's because we're deleting all the EVAP out of the car, there's no emissions in Washington, so if I don't need it, I don't want it, it'll clear up so much space, so um, yeah, we're ready to get this thing thrown in, and then we just got to figure out where everything goes. <laughs> all 
Uh, I know we're kind of skipping around a little bit, but just wanted to get this on. Intake manifolds on, TGVs are all torqued down, injectors are all plugged in, uh, turbo inlets on, kind of have this uh, air pump just kind of bolted on, um, fuel lines are back in. What else? Next, I'm probably going to throw the throttle body on and then get that all hooked up. We can get the power steering pump back mounted and then essentially just finishing stuff up, plugging everything in, trying to figure out where all the wires go to, kind of figuring it out though. So yeah, just going to keep working away at it and uh, come back in a second. All right, jumping ahead a little bit, we pretty much got everything on the engine itself back in. All we got to do is intake, radiator, battery, downpipe, intercooler, and I think that's about it. I do have someone sending over a base map for the car, so once we're ready to start it, we'll get that on the access port, and then, uh, yeah, we'll be ready to try her out, start her up, and hopefully there's no more knocking. All right, we're just about ready to start putting coolant in. Uh, we also have to fill it with oil, which I have to go and pick up. Um, but other than that, everything's pretty much back together. Uh, that intercooler took me literally forever to put in, like forever meaning like three hours for a five minute job, for a one minute job, only because the AOS makes everything super tight and getting that hose on down there was a literal nightmare. So, um, but we got it, it's on there and uh, we're ready to start doing coolant. Uh, I'm still waiting on a base map, but once we get that, we'll be able to fire it up. All right, so we just put oil and coolant in the car, and now we're just waiting on a base map. Um, but everything's all together. We got the coolant in there. Once we start it, we can finish bleeding it. Oil should be good. Um, and yeah, everything is looking together. So once we get that base map, we'll get that uploaded on the access port, and then uh, we'll be ready to fire it up. Hopefully that the, the knock is gone, but... No, that's really all we can hope for. So catch you guys when we get the base map and uh, we'll get this going. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see me. It's pretty dark, but we just got a base tune from Taylor. Uh, we're putting this on into the car right now and then we'll get the first start up. I got to go get some logs once we get it going and then we can, uh, we can move on with the tuning. All right, it's the next morning now. Um, last night we had an issue. We couldn't crank the car over. Not really sure what was going on. But uh, I did just figure out that I forgot to plug one of the wires into the solenoid on the starter. So I'm hoping that was the issue. It would make sense. So I got everything wired back up. I didn't put the intercooler yet. I'm just going to uh, turn the key, make sure it cranks, and then we'll throw the intercooler back on. Um, just in case I have to pull that starter back out. But yeah, let's go ahead and give it a shot and see if it cranks. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead, slap the intercooler back in for the fourth time and uh, fire her up. sure you guys heard it started up it is still knocking so it, it's it's got to be a rod bearing i don't know what else it could possibly be we had everything off the top of the block so it is what it is um i guess we just save up and start building this other block but for now i'm just going to leave it intact we'll keep working on the car doing like the other stuff coilovers the the wrap everything and we'll just keep going with it but yeah I'm not going to be driving it much, so unfortunate, but it is what it is. But I'm going to end off this video here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, peace.